Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Jeffy and this is my best friend, Android the Chihuahua. Today we are going to be doing a special soap with a wonderful theme. It is going to be along with this month's Pride Month. We're going to be doing it in a drop swirl pattern, so hopefully we still keep our rainbow in the order that we want it to be, but regardless, this is going to be an amazing soap. Before we get into all of our ingredients, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel to see more fun soaping videos just like this one. Today's design is going to be rainbow, so we're going to of course need the rainbow colors. We're going to be making two logs. One log is going to be dark version and the other log is going to be light version, but we're going to use the same fragrance oil, that way we only have to mix one of each of our fun colors. So our white is winter white from Nurture Soap and our black is nocturnal from Nurture Soap. The next pieces of the puzzle doesn't really matter where you get them from as long as they look like the colors of the rainbow. So for the first one I have red mica from Brambleberry, then we have yellow mica from Brambleberry, this orange is electric orange from Nurture Soap, green is enchantment from Nurture Soap, blue is brilliant blue from Nurture Soap, and then our final is jam session from Nurture Soap. So in total I just tried to get as basic of colors as I could. I didn't want anything too light or too dark. I just wanted everything to stand out and be bright in its own color of the rainbow. In total today, I'm going to be making about six pounds of soap. Each of these oil containers is measured out to make three pounds. One of these containers we're gonna end up dividing between all six of our colored cups. So each of these colored cups have about one tablespoon of colorant. And then the black and the white on the end each have three tablespoons because we have three pounds over here and this one is gonna be divided into the black and the white. So now I just need to get these mica powders mixed with some oil to disperse the colors and then we'll be ready to mix our lye water and our oils. I pre-made these little embeds out of cold processed soap and now I just need to paint them to give them a little bit of a sparkle. To do that, I'm just going to be mixing a little bit of mica powder with alcohol and then I'm just going to paint the top of these. And you really just need to hit the top of these because once we put them on our final soap, it's going to go down in it quite a bit. I just added my lye water to my oil. Next I'm going to be adding in a little bit of this sodium lactate. I'm also going to be adding 3 ounces of this black raspberry vanilla from Nurture Soap to each of my two buckets and then I'll be dividing the buckets so that there is a half pound in each of my colors and one and a half pounds in each of my black and white cups. Alright, so what I have in front of me is two three pound loaf molds, some black batter, some white batter, and then to my left here I have our entire rainbow. So to get us started out, I'm going to be putting a little black on the right and a little white on the left. Next, I'm going to be taking my red color and from really high, I'm just going to be dropping down into my batter and I'm going to be using the entirety of this red between the two loaves. All right next, I'm going to be going in with a little bit of black and a little bit of our white. Then our next color is of course going to be this incredible orange and I'm going to do the same thing. This is going to be pretty repetitious the whole way through, just drop swirling all our colors. Okay, and of course going in with our black and white again. Then we have some yellow. Hitting it with our next layer of color, or anti-color, should I say. I got some green. We have our last layer is going to be this wonderful purple. That should 
really finish it off strong. And then I'm just gonna scrape the rest of our anti-color bowls to fill up the rest of our molds. So I poured the rest of our batters and scraped them out completely and I realized that I had a little less in our black container than in our white loaf. So I ended up pouring just a little bit of our white to drizzle the top of our black loaf just to kind of make them a little bit more even. Next I'm going to be taking the back of a plastic fork to make a fun design in this. For our final steps here, we're going to be topping this off with some silver eco glitter from Brambleberry. And to do that, I'm going to be using this little duster tool also from Brambleberry. And to complete the bars, I have some teeny little embeds that we're just going to be placing. And those should sink right down in. They might need a little bit of a push. All right, that is our Pride Soap. So now I'm just gonna let this sit for a couple days and then we will come back to unmold. I've begun unmolding our bars and cutting into that white one and I'm absolutely blown away with our Pride Drop Swirl. It turned out amazing and I love that the colors did stay in order pretty well. I'm also blown away with how the side of our black bar looks. It looks kind of like graffiti and it was a nice surprise because it's not part of the design that I was expecting to happen, but I think when I hit the walls with some of it early on, it just kind of stuck. And I don't know, I'm just blown away with everything. I'm in love with everything about this bar. So let's crack into that black one. All right, I've cut into the black bar and I'm beyond blown away. It looks even better than the white bars, which is hard to outdo them because they all look so good. But I don't know, there's just something about that black lining between the colors that just looks so sick to me. And some of our colors kind of are touching, but I think for the most part, like especially between the greens and the yellows, there's definitely a thin black line and I just absolutely love that look. Everything looks so detailed. Those nice little dog bones on top and eco glitter were a really cool touch, but I have to say these bars are so incredibly cool. The inside of these bars for me definitely outdoes the tops. I definitely am gonna be using this technique again because that black one is just so gorgeous. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more fun videos like this. And if you'd like to purchase one of these bars, they'll be available on our website in about six weeks from when I post this video. Thank you guys so much for joining us again, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.